Frida Morrison. And it seems like near that long ago, we had the pleasure of joining the Doric Film Festival team at the gathering in the Belmont Cinema in Aberdeen to take part in the, the first Doric Film Festival award ceremony. Now, the layers that mark up this festival are many and varied. Taking pride in our heritage is Ian. Taking pride in far we come fae and the folk we come fae is another. But even my favourite bits in the process is the coming together of folk or light mind to work on the themes, to work on their visions. And this next film is a great example of that process. It's the coming together of Jill McWilliam, Gordon Mackay and Debbie Leslie that mark up the combined entry to Doric TV. This is a film that will resonate with a lot of folk. The story of a queen that finds comfort Walking in the footsteps of our Fairman ancestors, memories of their wise and their braid Doric language, and the story of the land and the folk that helped shape it. This is a film card, Far We Abide. During the lockdown of 2020, and in the days that followed, an Aberdeenshire queen saw solace in the craggy coastline of the place where she was born and brought up. Reaching out to the folk of the past to give her strength to face the challenges of the present. I saw myself and her memories and hopes for the future. Maybe you will too. This is her story, just as she told it to me. This past year, home and far we bide Tino and new meaning. And for me, isolation gave me the opportunity to walk in my ancestors' footsteps, bringing them closer in heart than they've ever been. It's northeast nuke, for the land rolls out to meet the sea, is so much more than just for a bide. It's farm, it's the way I speak, and the way I see the world. And even when I'm far away, I can close my ain and come home to Cruden Bay. Fin the groan and eth my feet and the sat tongue in the air. See the beauty of the bullers are bucking, the splendour of Slane's castle, the wee herbert at Port Errol, and the fisher folk for the Brock and Peter Heed and all the wee places in atween. Elky generation is bigot on the efforts of the ain that came afore. And I feel proud of my homeland and grateful for the contribution of Abdi that's helped shape it for the countryside to the tombs. My ain fall as I think of my ain family and my firm and forebears. Those hardy, bread-spicking, canny, close-knit folk it chaved in all withers to brock in this land with the boo of their backs and the sweat of their brews. And as I stand, with the wind in my face and the cry of the scurries I've been my heed, I see their ghosts working silently in the parks, shadows of the past, and me even tapestry of elky change that's come to pass. Scenes and seasons all steer together, telling the story of the land. But nowadays, it's sair to see the money abandoned farm workers who says it lie dotted rune Aberdeenshire. Casualties are progress, and the black gold that poured for the North Sea. And though there's nae doot at times were hard for the folk at bed here, I can't help but feel an ache in my chest for a wire life that's lost forever. And as I peer through a window into the past, I hear their tears and laughter, the bairns that played, the first and last breaths teen within these walls. Farines was soon in family life, 
a mon, some bairns a cotter wife, are empty rooms and stewy grates, broken windows, crack at slates, a yallid paper on a cheer, all faded lino on the fleer, the wooden linings running rune, the walls o' this abandoned room. The reef lets in the wind and rain, there's hanging spoots a choke it drain. The walls are crumbling far they stand, nae shelter here for beast nor man. Nae bird song lifts the eerie quiet, the garden left to nature's fate. A door that does na need a lock, naebody's hame, nae need to knock. These days and folk are long gone, but like them, in times of adversity and change, we've had to dig for resilience, and as the world begins to heal, we will adapt and thrive too. And just maybe, their legacy, along with our Gweed Doric tongue, will never be lost, and the post-pandemic world will be a new beginning, the chance to look up for your screens. To slow down and going back to simpler wise and values. To live and work closer to nature. And to ken that the planet can survive without us, but we canna survive without the planet. Fit we do the day will shape the future for our bairns. So let's strive to leave a world worth inheriting. A place of kindness, hope and laughter. After all, this amazing planet is home to us all, for we all bide.